You've probably seen or even built a potato cannon as a kid. All it takes is some PVC pipes glued together, a potato jammed into the barrel, a little propellant in the chamber, and a spark to fire it off. But what about a potato cannon held together with nothing but duct tape? Carry built two versions. One the classic PVC cannon, and the other reinforced only with duct tape, to see if tape could really hold up. First came the traditional cannon. Carrie loaded the potato, Tori pulled the trigger remotely, and the spud flew 367 feet. After a few more shots, the average range came out to 346 feet, with a speed of 179 miles per hour. Then it was time for the duct tape cannon. The question was, could it handle the blast? Surprisingly, yes, it worked, with power and speed nearly equal to the standard version. So they took things up a notch. Building a potato cannon made entirely out of duct tape, no PVC at all. They greased up a steel pipe with animal fat, wrapped it in wax paper, then layered duct tape over and over. 20 rolls later, the barrel was ready. To compare, they fired the regular cannon again. That one blasted a potato 500 yards at 195 miles per hour. When the duct tape cannon fired, it actually launched a potato too, and the barrel held together. But the shot only reached 125 yards with a speed of 136 miles per hour. It wasn't as powerful as the real deal, but still, it was a fully functional cannon made of nothing but duct tape. Even after several more rounds, it kept working. Myth confirmed. Myth. 